And again, we're getting down on our back, soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Hate to compete with Adele. I don't want to yell over her because she's so beautiful, but let me go ahead and start with the gong. This will definitely be a competition. your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to every area in your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. 
and one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale, those knees and arms to center. Exhale, knees to the left, arms to the right. Look over that right shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing into this simple twist, opening up those right obliques and smile. Again, it's Wednesday. It's a beautiful day out today. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, knees to the right, arms to the left. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Again, breathing into this simple twist, opening up those left obliques as you do. Inhale, back to center. Wrap your arms around your knees. Grab opposite elbows. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then from here, extend your legs above you. Oh no, first let's go ahead and grab our insteps. Drag your knees down towards your shoulder blades. Push up with your feet, pull down with your hands, and happy baby. Again, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then extend your legs, flex your feet, arms come up overhead. Lower your legs to a 45 degree angle. Inhale first. Exhale as you draw those knees in, crunch it out. Inhale all the way back, flex your feet. Exhale, draw those knees in, good job. Inhale back, exhale in. And again, either two more or seven more, wherever you are. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. And again, you can stop here or follow us. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward, two more if you're with us, inhale back, exhale forward, inhale back, And exhale forward. Good job. Wrap your arms around your knees. Grab opposite elbows. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. Inhale first. Exhale down to the end of the mat. Roll over onto your left side. And again, as we're here, we're on our left elbow, left palm of our hand. Inhale that right knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Again, drag that right shoulder back and down as much as possible. We're in infinity pose. Again, opening up as much as we can, maybe grabbing onto our calf muscle dragging our leg towards us if this is in your practice and smile Alex and michael are in ireland now with all 12 family members now that there's the baby 
but she had food poisoning yesterday, which is just a little bit scary because she's also going to be going to India and a lot of other places during her pregnancy. So if she gets it in Ireland, I don't know what it's going to be like in India. And I'm hoping she's going to feel better soon. Inhale that right knee in. Exhale down to the end of the mat. Roll it over onto your right side, right elbow, right palm of your hand on the mat. Inhale that left knee in. Grab your instep and exhale. As you extend above you, again, drive that left shoulder back and down. Breathing in and out in infinity pose. Again, maybe grab onto your calf muscle. Drag your leg towards you. If this is in your practice, opening up even more and smile, it's Wednesday. Inhale, that left knee in. Exhale, down to the end of the mat. Draw those knees in, spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone and back again, allowing each vertebra to come back into alignment. We'll do three or four of these. And arrive at the tops of our mats in Sukhasana, simple seated pose. Again, sitting up straight, dragging our shoulders back and down. Breathing in and out, maybe doing some shoulder rolls backward to allow those shoulders to come into place. Keeping the crowns of our heads directly above our root chakra. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that right leg. Flex your foot. And again, sit on your sit bone.
so funny when I think about the concerts that I've been to in my life when I was um, younger. All of the artists are still people that I absolutely adore. I went to see Elvis Costello when I was in France. I love him. I actually got to see him after the con uh, concert. I went to see Chrissy Hine and the Pretenders while I was in France in a very small venue. Got to see them after. I went to see El Elton John in Avignon. He was playing the piano backward. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk your hands to the right, grabbing onto your right knee with your left hand. Bring that right hand back, drag your shoulders back and down. And I must say, I didn't get to see him, but we were right up at the stage. He was amazing. He, I've seen him actually here in Phoenix as well. Wasn't quite as good because he had someone else playing with him, but um, we also saw um, the police in Nîmes, which was amazing, and I still love the police. Um, Sam, what's his name, Sam? Oh, Sam, what is his last name? Inhale, that right arm up and over. Is it Sam Smith? Um, he's British as well. He's amazing. But we saw him in Phoenix. Been to a lot of concerts in my life, but mostly with earplugs. Trans Siberian Orchestra many times. So funny for Christmas. Inhale that left shoulder through. Ex oh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Exhale down, chin to shin. <laughs> for Alix's birthday, it was the birthday after Morgan transition. That was so hard for her. It was a really nice con uh, concert as well here in Phoenix. Back when she was not quite as famous. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend your knee. But again, Adele is just amazing. I just think she's so amazing. Let's go ahead and move our head in a clockwise direction first, opening up our neck. Don't go back too far as you do. And then in a counterclockwise direction. Again, probably hear some cracks as you do, it's okay. Place your fingertips on the mat, inhale that right arm all the way up, grab your left ear and exhale over to the right, again opening that whole left side of your neck, look up towards the ceiling. Inhale that right arm up, exhale down, inhale your left arm up. Again, find that right ear. Exhale over to the left. I also went to a Le Rita Mitsuku concert. You guys probably have never heard of her or her band. And we got to see her after in Montpellier. That was Probably not my favorite music, but I like it. It's a lot of fun. Inhale, that left arm up. Exhale down. Good job. Place your hands on the mat. Roll up. Oh, we went to see the Rolling Stones a couple years ago. I think everybody knows that here in Phoenix. Our knees are below our hips. Our wrists are below our, our shoulders. And again, if you look between your legs, you shouldn't see your feet. Inhale first. Again, to cow, drag those spines down. Look up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you bend those elbows, transitioning into cat, gazing at your navels. Inhale. Again, to cow. Looking 
looking up towards the ceiling. Lots of other bands here in Phoenix. We have so many talented groups from Cactus Shadows that perform around, around Phoenix. Exhale. Again. The cat. I guess it's just because Seville and I love to dance so much. Inhale. Again, the cat. I think dancing is one of the most important parts of our lives to be able to enjoy life. Exhale as we bend those elbows, dragging your spines upward. And then come back to a flat back again. <clears throat> We're in table. Let's go ahead and inhale that right arm straight out. Left leg goes back. Thumb is up. Flex your foot, looking gently out. Again, we're in Sunbird. She just has such a gorgeous voice. Exhale, elbow to knee. So funny, I get so emotional listening to her. Inhale, out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out, wrap that right arm around, bend your knee, grab onto your ankle or your foot, pull up into Modified Dancer, Modified Bow Pose, and smile. Again, it's Wednesday, it's a beautiful day. We're so fortunate to be able to be practicing yoga. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm out. Right leg goes back, flex your foot, thumb is up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale out, wrap that left arm around, bend your knee, grab onto your ankle or your foot, pull up into Modified Dancer. Again, as much as you can, open up your heart. Exhale down, good job. Curl your toes under, sit back on your heels. And again, make infinity symbols with your wrists. Opening up your wrists, opening up your toes as you do. Breathing in and out. And maybe take those arms up overhead, drag your shoulders back and down. Drag your tailbone in. Again, shoulders back and down. <clears throat> Draw your hands behind you, fingertips touch, pushing those fingertips up towards the crowns of your heads. Again, in Anjali Mudra, behind your back. Again, we're opening up our shoulders, our wrists, our fingers, our toes, and our ankles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Rock forward on your elbows. Slap up your toes. Good job. And then come up <clears throat> into camel. We're going to start <clears throat> with our curls, the toes curled under, sorry. Inhale, both arms all the way up. And then exhale as you draw your hands behind you, placing them in the small of your back. Again, you can stay here, shoulders back and down, or you can start walking your hands down your thighs. Find your heels. Then again, moving into camel. We're opening our hearts, keeping our necks safe. Don't allow your head to pop back. Breathing in and out. Release that left hand and then your right. And then place the tops of your feet on the mat if this is in your practice. We can always do camel as well with a block on either side of our feet. <clears throat> if this is in your practice, inhale both arms all the way up. <clears throat> Exhale as you draw those hands behind you, finding the smalls of your back. And then slowly walk your hands down your thighs. Find your heels again, opening your hearts, keeping your neck safe. Don't allow your head to pop back. In camel, release that left hand and then your right. And then from here, Place your elbows on the mat. Again, this is puppy pose. Drag your hearts down towards the mat. Again, this is the counter pose. Breathing in and out. Palms of your hands are on the mat. You can either stay here or you can walk those hands forward into melting heart pose. Again, opening up those shoulders as you do. Breathing in and out. Just realized when I post this, probably no one's going to be able to see it because I think that Adele is probably copyright throughout the world. That's okay, it doesn't matter. Kind of funny though. Either it's um, not going to be able to be visible or it'll just be the images and not the sound, <laughs> which is fine. Kind of interesting because Blackbird is not one of those songs that keeps the video for being seen, which probably should be. Um, inhale as you walk those hands back again into table. And then from here, let's go ahead and curl your toes under. First, I'm going to go ahead and tuck my shirt in. Curl your toes under. Inhale first. Exhale. As you drag your heart back towards your thighs, again, flatten out your backs, breathing in and out, maybe walking the dog, so we're in Ardha Mukhasvasana, downward facing dog, planting that area in between your index fingers and thumbs into the mat, breathing in and out. Come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees, look towards the front of the mat, drag your tailbone, skin, shoulders back and down or in bear pose. Step or jump up, lighter than air. Inhale, halfway up, 
Sukhasana Ardha Tadasana. Again, shoulders back and down. Looking towards the front of the room. Flattening out your back. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Standing forward fold. Maybe bend your elbows as you're doing this. Palms of your hands are on the mat. Dragging yourselves in towards your thighs as much as possible. Inhale, halfway up to Arda. Exhale down to Uttanasana. Making space. Slightly bend the, your knees. Inhale all the way up. Swan dive backward. Hands come together. Slight back bend. And the hands come to Anjali Mudra. Bowing your heads in honor of your practices. Good job. Take a giant step backward. Toes in, heels out. <clears throat> Good job. Draw your hands to Venus Mudra behind you. Inhale first. Shoulders back and down. Exhale, humbly bow yourselves. Again, dragging your hearts down towards the mat, crowns of your heads down towards the mat, allowing your wrists to fall down out towards the center of the room with gravity if this is in your practice opening up your shoulders draw your hands back towards your waist release inhale halfway up again to arda maybe spread your feet if this is in your practice and exhale as you walk those hands backward dragging the crowns of your heads down towards the mat Palms of your hands are on the mat. Good job. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Place your right hand just a little bit farther out. Inhale, that left hand all the way up. Exhale, cross under. Grabbing your thigh, your calf, or your ankle. Again, look up underneath your right shoulder, maybe dragging the crowns of your heads down towards the mat. Inhale, that right arm up, bend your elbow, find that left hip crease and breathe again. Breathing in to Prasarita Parditanasana. Opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Inhale, that right arm up. Exhale, down. Inhale, your left arm all the way up. And exhale, down, placing that hand just a little bit farther out. Inhale, that right arm all the way up. Exhale, as you thread it under. Grabbing your left thigh, left calf, or left ankle. Wherever you are is perfect. Placing the crown of your head down onto the ground if you can. Inhale, that left arm up. Bend your elbow, find that right hip crease. Again, in Prasarita Parditanasana. Opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Shoulders back and down. Exhale, down, right arm all the way up, and exhale, down, good job. Inhale first, exhale that <coughs> left knee as it bends, again, extending that right foot, or right leg, flexing your right foot. Maybe place your hands on either side of your knee. If this is in your practice, we're in flying monkey. Possibly draw your hands to Anjali Mudra. 
are all the way up above you in the Utita. Wherever you are is perfect. Use the strength of your legs to come up to the tops of your mats again, either with your hands on either side of your knee, drawing them to Anjali Mudra, or possibly all the way up overhead in the Utita. Both sides are different. Twist to the top of the mat. Walk that right foot all the way to the left. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk that, those hands back again. In Royal Pigeon. Maybe take Venus Mudra once again. And exhale down, humbly bow yourself. Again, left cheek to the mat. In humbly bowing pigeon, resting pigeon. Draw those hands back towards your waist before you release. And again, as Adele said, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could all just get over ourselves? It's a hard thing to do. Such a beautiful voice. It's just amazing. that right hip, releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing there, allowing them to melt into the mat, into the floor, into the earth below, where they are recycled, regenerated as positive energy. Good job. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Coming off on that right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find your right hip crease. Maybe take a bind if this is in your practice. Shoulders back and down. Opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. And again, smile. It's Wednesday. It's a beautiful day out today. Just a little hot. It got really hot yesterday all of a sudden. Marandrasana twist. Inhale back to center. Extend your legs and shake them out. Come up to the tops of your mats. Again, in Malasana. Backs of your biceps are just below your knees. Hands are in Anjali Mudra. All four corners of your feet are growing into the mat. 
stay here or move into Bakasana, rocking back and forth, finding that sweet spot, lifting your toes again, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Coming back into Malasana. Inhale from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra. And exhale down again. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Arda. Take a giant step back with your right foot. Walk that left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right. Right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk your hands back. Take Venus Mudra if this is in your practice. And exhale down again. Coming down onto that right cheek. Breathing in and out. In humbly bowing pigeon. Resting pigeon. Opening up that left hip, releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing there. Slowly draw those hands back towards your waist, release. Again, breathing in and out. It's funny because when we had some friends over in New York, Michael put the Guardians of the Galaxy playlist on is so much fun. I'm sure that all of you have seen Guardians of the Galaxy. That playlist is just really a fun playlist to listen to, but it's not very good when you have people over to be able to talk over it. Oh my gosh, she's got such a gorgeous voice. It's really hard to do yoga to this because I don't want to compete with her at all. I think Amy Winehouse would be a little easier to um, because they have similar styles but very different obviously but inhale as you walk those hands back again coming off on your left hip swing that right leg all the way around right foot is parallel to your left thigh bring that left foot in and your left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find that left hip crease. And again, maybe take a bind. Opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Breathing in and out. And Maria Andrasana twist. Inhale back to center. Extend your legs and shake them out. Bend your knees. 
<clears throat> placing the soles of your feet on the mat, arms are out on either side, inhale first, exhale, inch by inch, vertebra by vertebra, coming down to the mat, draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. <clears throat> Place your heels just below your sit bones. Take your block in hand. Inhale as you push your hips up, placing the block underneath your sacrum on the highest, second, or third levels. Wherever you are is perfect. Again, opening up your lower backs. Okay, this is one of my favorites too. it actually. I love this song. This is what started the whole thing. Again, my dad thought this was a country music song. <clears throat> and I said, well, she's from London. He said, but they have country music in England too. <laughs> He's very intelligent too. I, I guess they probably do have country music, but I wouldn't ever call, she's rhythm and blues, she's soul, I don't know, she's definitely not country. This is just such a beautiful song. Draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, good job. You can either allow your legs to come up to the ceiling, flex your feet again, allowing the circulation to come back down to our vital organs, back down to our brains. You can also push those hips up, walking your shoulders under in a shoulder stand if you're there. Again, feet are in Barbie feet. Love that expression. Those poor Barbies, all except for Skipper, who had flat feet. <clears throat> I always thought that was so interesting. I always wanted to be Skipper because I didn't want to have my feet like that, but it's fine to have them here. <laughs> Draw those toes overhead. Again, if this is in your practice, into halasana, but be gentle with yourselves. Don't feel like you have to. Maybe bend your knees, drawing them around your ears in ear pressure pose or snail pose. If this is in your practice, And then exhale as you draw your hips down towards the mat. Draw your knees in again for a hug, rock back and forth. Then cross that right leg over left. Wrap your feet, arms are out east and west. Inhale first. Exhale down to the left. Look over your right shoulder again. Opening up those right obliques as you do in a full body twist, releasing toxins. Okay, this is just a little too happy and exciting. Inhale, back to center, unwrap, unwind. Give yourselves a hug. And then cross that left leg over right. Wrap your feet, arms are out east and west. Inhale first. 
Exhale, down to the right. Look over your left shoulder and breathe. Again, opening up those left obliques. Breathing in and out. And smile. Releasing whatever toxins may remain in those left obliques. Remember to drink lots of water after practice. Inhale those knees back to center. Unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your chins, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead and extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, Come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed. Hands are at Anjali Mudra. Heads are bowed in honor of your practices. Good job. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you all. I'm going to go ahead and ring the gong to end practice. Again, huge competition between this beautiful gong and the And thank you all for being here. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. And I realized that poor Lynn, I'm meeting with her. She's coming all the way up to Cave Creek at 9.30. So <laughs> I was thinking I'm going a little long today for Lynn. But um, anyway, it's wonderful to see everybody. Have a great rest of the day. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. Um, and if anybody's interested in attending the service, the celebration of life for Sue's husband, Amy found out when it is, so it's the 12th of June, is that right? Is, is that our second is like... <laughs> the 21st at three okay. o'clock, but she's, she wants to make sure it's 100%. Before she says anything. So okay, yeah. I'll let everybody know the that numbers, that's right? exactly the time. Okay, that's good. Um, anyway, 
I'm going to definitely <laughs> be there. Um, it'll be wonderful to see anybody else who wants to come as well. And um, I would assume it's going to be right in um, in the center of Cape. It's at Shepherd of the Desert. Yeah, she, that good that good shepherd, shepherd, the one that has the little gold mine workshop. Yeah, right. there's a big, big uh, hall, and that's where she had her father's service. And her father was actually very well known in Cave Creek. He wrote articles for the newspaper. He's someone who um, I think a lot of people knew here in Cave Creek. And um, I'm excited about being able to see Sue. Anyway, I'm so glad you guys saw her yesterday. That's wonderful. Have a wonderful rest of the day. I've got to run too. <laughs> and I will definitely talk to you soon. Thanks Thank so much for being here. Take care, everybody. Thank Bye, everybody. Bye.